and equipment contingencies. Is it just a matter of time? Hubs, clubs, sporting facilities and places of worship will be closed from midday today across Australia. There are many who are acting selfishly. They are not taking this seriously. If that continues, then people will die, die, die. die. Okay, you ready? Ah! Oh, I didn't throw it hard enough. Bring Sean. Come on. Ready? Ah! Oh.
today I have something very rare and special for you. These are seeds and you can use them to grow things. Some gardeners like growing their seeds in raised garden beds and just sprinkle the seed through. Or I like to use a freshly prepared garden bed and push the seeds in. Now we just need to water in and wait. And remember, wash your hands. Today I'm looking at a garden designed to beat the pandemic. It has beans and snow peas ready to burst, leafy greens and nasturtiums. You won't be short of herbs in this garden and plenty of citrus to top it off. Next week we'll show you a recipe you can make using only these ingredients. So in the meantime remember, don't touch your face. Things had been going great and everything was on the up and up. Then Corona came and changed all of that over the cliff on life support. Unless you're in one of these industries. So things appear fairly stable for the moment, but this is still a very real possibility. Meanwhile, I'm just happy with this. This week I asked the question, 
are insects in your garden carrying coronavirus? We all know there are beneficial insects as well as insect pests in the garden, but I think you can't be too careful. You don't know where they've been. I'd recommend good personal protection and a broad spectrum insecticide. And remember, keep your distance. Today, we're talking to Farmer Luke about tips for caring for livestock. Yeah, how you going? I find what keeps my cows happy is a good read. Belle here has just finished all six novels in Adrian McGinty's Sean Duffy series. It's set in Belfast in The Troubles and I think she likes the historical aspect as well as a good detective story. Well, thanks for the tip, Luke. And that's great advice for anybody staying at home. Choo! Choo! Choo!